You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the next Yummy Nummies Mini Kitchen Magic Diner Delights with the Cheesy Pretzel Maker. They say super tiny, which they probably are. I'm guessing they're about that big, but we'll find out. Makes 10 pretzels. And she looks happy dipping the pretzel in the cheese, so hopefully I'm happy. Now, the side always tells you, well, mix, make, and enjoy, which is the steps we want to do. And then that gives you the information on what's in the kit. They always list that in the back. And then if there's microwaving, nutritional facts. It is a blip toy. As usually you see that on the bottom. See that? Blip. Blip. I've seen these in Walmart and Target, I believe. Either way, if you're not sure, go to their website. I'm sure you can find it. So let me open this here. I know they also sell them directly on Amazon, so you can go there as well. So let's dump everything out. Okay, and instructions. Come on, instructions. Very important. So let's see. So you get a couple tools in here. You get the salt, the pretzel mix, the cheese mix and your tray for shaping your pretzels. Look at that. And they always number the trays. Everything is nice and organized, easy to follow directions. Let's cut this open. This almost looks like a little pretzel gift box. Ooh, I get to fold and make a gift box. All right. So normally I just do that. Then I come back, get my water, get my mat. And then I'll organize it and we'll just go over all the pieces and check out the instructions. All right, so now we can look at everything in a little more detail. So you have your measuring scoop and your spoon. I'll move those off to the side. Now this is not a storage box. This actually is, it says here later in the step six, assemble the mini cardboard tray. So it looks like you're going to cut your cheese out, cheese tray compartment out, and then put that in here. So we'll have to do that later. And then here's your mixes. You have the pretzel mix your salt like I showed you earlier and then the cheese so the first thing we're gonna need is that we'll need that we're gonna need some water and then to cut the tray so you have to separate the pretzel part of the tray from the mixing part of the tray it never actually tells you to cut out the other cheese compartment at least I didn't see it to make the cheese sauce add four scoops of the cheese add two scoops of water and mix well so I'm guessing you're going to have to cut this out at some point. So we need that. We're going to need that in a second. Now, here we go. Let's get started. It says, open the pretzel pack number 24. There you are. In a tray, in a tray, in tray 1. See, they're numbered. All their trays are nicely numbered. Can you see the number 1 and number 2? There they are again. Eight scoops of pretzel powder. Here we go. There it is. That's what it looks like. There's quite a bit in there. I'm going to count. One. Count with me so I know I'm doing this right. Two. Three. Four. Ooh, that one made a little block. Five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Okay, and then clean that off. Three scoops of water. Let me turn it this way and then I'll get ready to mix it. Here we go. One. And I'm going to put it off to the side. Two. So I can slowly mix that in. Three. And then let's uh, get a little bit closer to that, huh? Now you're not actually rolling and shaping this. I was reading ahead. It says, scoop even amounts of mixture into the trays. 3, 4, and 5, or sections 3, 4, 5, which would be the pretzels. Then you microwave it, then you press it down after it's microwaved. So 
Just press the pretzels down into the tray with your finger, then remove from the tray. So that's what creates the pretzel. I was kind of happy because I don't like uh, shape. Well, I can shape pretzels and I've done them in other videos, so it's not hard to do. It's just this kind of makes it easier for you. Let's get out all the lumpies. So it looks kind of sticky. It's on my fingers. It has some stickiness to it. And then let's see. Scoop even amounts of mixtures into three, four, and five. Here we go. Right here. Three, four, five. That's simple enough. Okay, here we go. Just do a spoonful of each and each one. One. And three. And I'll put a little bit extra in each. One, two. Okay, that's pretty good. It's almost two scoops. And three. And then I'll tap it down. Almost need a little cake spatula to collect all that. Okay, so let's jiggle this. Fill up my little, they almost look like hearts, don't they? Little pretzel hearts. Okay, microwave is next. So when I check back in with you we'll be at the microwave and we'll give these the 15 to 20 seconds all right so here we go 15 to 20 seconds hard to tell what's going on Ooh, popping up okay I see him pop steam so I did it for 16 seconds so a little bit more all right let's check them out all right so they do look puffy Let's bring them back in now, press them down after they cool, and get them out. All right, so I'm not gonna cut this apart yet because they show you in the instructions that you're doing the cheese next to container one. So this is cool enough, it said press down. I'll do the first one, I'll really press it and see, and then pop them out. Okay, so that is my Pretzel. Let me just temporarily store it here because I haven't made my box yet. The pressing, I guess, is what creates that shape. Okay, there's number two. And then that needs to be salted. Then you do the cheese. So here we go. So let me salt those. Now some people don't like salt on their pretzels, so I will do two salted and one unsalted. And I like salt, so. Okay, so those are set. Now, that tray is done. Let's bring in the cheese. Now it says, let's see what it says. To make the cheese, add four scoops of the cheese packet, add two scoops of water, and mix well. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Four scoops of cheese is what it looks like on the inside. Mm, it smells like uh, macaroni cheese from Macaroni and Cheese. Two. Now, there's a little bit stuck in there from the last water, so I'm going to add just a little bit extra to compensate for that. And then I'm going to tap it off here. Get it all clean now. And now that was four scoops, two scoops of water. Here we go. One, two. 
Now let's mix the cheese. I guess it's better than cutting cheese that we're mixing cheese. So this does not get microwaved in any way and there's no more cooking. There's my cheese. Trying to get all the little giblets of, of uh, powder out of there. Okay, that's a nice looking cheese. All right, we spilled some powder. So now I need to make, it tastes just like macaroni and cheese cheese. Okay, so this, mm -hmm, this first it looks like, get this locked in. Then your sides. So this goes in, there's little slots here. Let's see, maybe it's easier this way. There we go. This looks like it folds over. Okay, now your pretzels go in here. One, two, and three. I might get a little salt on it, and I need to fit. Looks like you just cut that into there. So let me cut this out. I'm going to cut around the whole edge. I'm cutting the whole outer edge of this tray because it looks like it's supposed to drop in there. There you go. Let's trim it a little bit more. Let's make it fit perfectly in there. So now I'm trimming all the white off the edge. Why not show you what I'm doing? There. Let's get a close-up of that little dish, huh? Before I try it, that is now my Yummy Nummies pretzels. What do you think? Are you a pretzel fan? All right, so let me try. I want to try one with the salt. So I'm going to move this one out of the way. Get one with the salt. Dip it in my cheese. There we go. My bite. So it's a chewy pretzel. What I really taste is the cheese and the salt. I don't taste much of the pretzel. Hmm. I think I need to do this. So what I'm tasting, let me try one more bite. Hmm. It really tastes like macaroni and cheese to me. I had to try it. There you go. It was fun. The Yummy Nummies pretzel set. Now the box kind of shows them really separated. Now that didn't happen for me. Maybe I didn't press them enough. I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh well, there you go. All done, and if you want to see more Yummy Nummies, we've done quite a few sets, and we have more sets to go, then look in that description. I'll give you one more close-up for our playlist, or you can always just search Lucky Penny Shop. Mmm, and thanks for watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.